Airbus is about to unveil the plane Boeing never wanted to see. A longer, more powerful A220, designed to invade Boeing's last stronghold, the 150-seat market. And if it comes to fruition, it could wipe out Boeing's advantage in one fell swoop. So what makes the stretched A220 such a dangerous threat? Why is the industry so worried? Let's take a closer look. For years, Airbus denied this, but in 2023, they finally confirmed what those in the aviation industry had been whispering about for almost a decade. The company had been quietly working on an extended A220, an aircraft that could be called the A225, A22500, or even a completely new name, a jet the industry had been waiting for and Boeing had been dreading. But just as momentum was building, the rumors suddenly died down. Why, because Airbus was battling a far more pressing issue, a global supply chain collapse, threatening every program from the A220 to the A350. Before launching any new jet, Airbus first had to save its manufacturing ecosystem from collapse. However, the true origins of the extended A220 date back long before Toulouse even touched the program. While the aircraft was still the Bombardier C-Series, the CS-100 and CS-300 were just phase one of a much bolder roadmap. Behind the scenes, Bombardier was designing the CS-500, a longer variant aimed squarely at the 150 to 170 seat segment, dominated by the Boeing 7, 3, 7, 800, and later the MAX 8. This wasn't just ambition, it was a threat. A completely new competitor with composite wings, advanced aerodynamics, and ultra-efficient turbofan engines. A combination Boeing couldn't match on its decades-old 737 platform. The surprise came in 2017 when Boeing filed an anti-dumping complaint with the U.S. International Trade Commission accusing Bombardier of selling the C-Series below cost to win the Delta order. Was Boeing's implicit lawsuit against Bombardier really about price? Or was it a desperate attempt to delay the CS500 before it ever hit the market? And if the jet had been launched, then would the MAX 8 still be dominating the skies today? The relentless pursuit of this dream, but financial losses crushed the company, forcing Bombardier to sell the entire C-Series program to Airbus. And ironically, that move only made the aircraft potentially more dangerous and bold A220-500. Because Airbus has the money scale and global customer base to finish what Bombardier started, now with Airbus slowly regaining production stability and airlines showing renewed interest in the stretched A220 was Boeing, right to be concerned about the A220-500 in the first place. And are we finally getting closer to the point where Airbus dominates the only segment where Boeing still holds the heart of the narrow-body aircraft market. If you want to see more insightful aviation stories like this, remember to like and subscribe, because the next part of this airplane story might be coming sooner than we think. Since entering service in 2016, the Airbus A220 has quietly but undeniably reshaped modern aviation, it may look small compared to the giants of the skies, but its impact is far from insignificant. However, how can a jet with only 100 to 150 seats outperform an aircraft twice its size? And why have airlines so quickly embraced it? In a world long dominated by outdated narrow-body aircraft and fuel-guzzling wide-body planes, this sleek, ultra-efficient jet has proven that breakthroughs don't require enormous wingspans. Airlines quickly recognized its value fuel consumption far exceeded expectations, performance surpassed initial promises, and the passenger experience was so spacious and smooth the travelers immediately noticed. This wasn't just another new aircraft, but a glimpse into the future of aviation. Then the unexpected shock hit the COVID-19 pandemic. Runways turned into parking lots. Entire wide-body fleets were grounded. Airlines suffered heavy losses and desperately searched for aircraft that could maintain profitability with much lower demand. And amidst this global standstill, this aircraft continued to operate. 
why its lightweight structure, ideal seating capacity of 100 to 150, and superior fuel efficiency made it the perfect choice for essential and short-haul routes. While major airports became graveyards for older A380s, 777s, and even A320s, it proved to be not just a good if available option, but a product capable of meeting future needs. But Airbus had no intention of stopping there. Behind the scenes, they're focusing on something even more ambitious, a stretched version. A version that could put this aircraft at the heart of the narrow body market and directly challenge the 737 and A320 families. Could that be a game changer? But the story of the prototype aircraft remains unfinished. Although the 100 and 300 variants proved their worth, they were never the ultimate vision for the aircraft family. Hidden within the initial design of the C-Series was a bigger idea, an expansion that engineers knew the industry would one day be unable to ignore the A2-2500, expected to carry around 160 to 170 passengers the A2-2500 is being designed to compete not only with the Boeing 737 MAX 8, but also with Airbus's A320neo. But the interesting thing is, this isn't just a stretched A220. Airbus is quietly preparing a structurally upgraded aircraft with reinforced components, newly added emergency exits on the wings, and a design philosophy focused entirely on safety and high performance. It's bigger, more powerful, and capable of exceeding anyone's expectations. But the real turning point begins under the wing. The current A220 family relies on Pratt & Whitney's PW1500G engines, a more reliable variant than the troubled PW1100G engines. Even so, airlines have expressed concerns about long-term durability and maintenance cycles. So if the current engine is still controversial, what happens when a second engine manufacturer joins the fray? And then another bombshell appears. GE Aerospace, through its joint venture. CFM has indicated it wants to enter the fray. CEO Larry Culp has stated that GE could potentially offer an entirely new line of engines for the variants. If that happens, the jet will become the center of a new engine war, potentially reshaping the entire narrow-body aircraft industry for decades to come. And then there's the biggest mystery range. The manufacturer has yet to release official figures, but analysts are optimistic that with improvements in weight, better aerodynamics refined engines, and optional central or auxiliary fuel tanks, the aircraft could fly nearly 4,000 nautical miles, far exceeding the Max 8's capabilities. If Airbus achieves this, the aircraft will not only sell well, but could become the best-selling aircraft globally surpassing Boeing in the most competitive segment of commercial aviation. More importantly, the A2-2500 reflects Airbus's broader strategy of a lighter airframe, higher fuel efficiency, despite a larger fuselage, and a passenger cabin optimized for the practical needs of airlines. This aircraft is not just a longer version, but the next evolutionary step a precisely engineered weapon in Airbus's effort to dominate the narrow-body aircraft segment. This new variant from Airbus marks the next chapter in Airbus's efforts to dominate the market serving as a strategic weapon in its campaign. Expected to enter service after 2030, the manufacturer is quietly preparing for what could be their next commercial blockbuster. This already popular extended version is generating significant anticipation, and rightly so. It promises to attract a new wave of customers, particularly airlines seeking greater capacity, while maintaining the efficiency and versatility that made the original aircraft so successful. To date, the A220 program has received 898 orders mostly focused on the larger A220-300 model. This clear preference reveals a growing trend. Airlines are increasingly favoring larger capacity aircraft. This reinforces the belief that when the extended version finally takes flight, it will not only follow in the footsteps of its predecessor, but may easily surpass it. A larger version simply makes sense, and many airlines have been anticipating this expansion. 
One of the most ardent proponents is Breeze Airways, a rapidly growing U.S. low-cost airline that targets underserved routes. Breeze frequently hints that an extended-range aircraft would be a perfect fit for their unique business model, explaining why the widely used A320neo hasn't fully met their needs yet. David Neiman, the visionary founder behind both JetBlue and Breeze, has publicly shared his fleet strategy on LinkedIn. While acknowledging the crucial role Embraer aircraft played in previous projects, he makes it clear times have changed. Now it's the ideal aircraft, not only because of its fuel efficiency and passenger comfort, but also because it can fly farther. For him, it's truly an intercontinental aircraft, something the Embraer E2 simply can't match. And range is crucial. With the extended A2-2500 breeze can open longer routes while maintaining a streamlined single-type fleet. A huge advantage in an industry where operational complexity can quickly erode profitability. Mr. Neiman also stressed that Airbus's latest technology, combined with expanded passenger capacity, gives the jet a strong edge as a long-term fleet solution. Breeze isn't just interested, it's waiting. But Breeze isn't the only airline. Air Canada is also expected to order the new variant, seeing it as the perfect successor to its aging A320 CEO fleet. With eight MAX aircraft already in operation at its subsidiary, Rouge Air Canada is lacking a narrow-body aircraft in its fleet, and this new jet is a perfect fit, offering more seating modern technology and range to serve key routes. Then there's Air Baltic, perhaps, the airline most reliant on this aircraft globally. With a quality fleet and ambitious expansion plans across Europe and beyond Air Baltic, is a leading contender to be the first customer of this new variant. For them, it's a natural evolution, allowing them to serve higher demand routes without disrupting their standard fleet model. Critically important in today's aviation world, where operational consistency is key. Worldwide airlines prioritizing efficiency range and fleet simplification are paying particular attention. The extended range A220 is no longer just an idea on paper. It's emerging as a strategic solution to real-world challenges. As the market shifts toward longer-range, lower-cost aircraft, Airbus is poised to elevate this class to a new level of performance and capability, potentially rewriting the rules of the game. What do you think could the A220 stretch become the next game-changer in single-aisle aviation? Share your thoughts below. Have a safe flight. Goodbye and see you again.